I've changed a few things in my golf swing and my students to allow them to hit the golf ball much longer. They're only simple little things, but long drives became a lot easier. Follow these three simple tweaks, and I know if you get one of them, possibly two, even all three, we're talking like five, 10, 15 yards extra on all your clubs. Now we're doing this one with driver because we're taking full advantage of this beautiful hole here at infinitum. And look at this on the hills course. What a beautiful drive, right? So the first thing we've got to understand uh, is simply that if we don't turn in the backswing, and just bear with me, I've got a great momentum drill for you here. If you don't turn in the backswing, you can't create speed. Now I get it. We, we start to lose driver. It goes left, it goes right. We don't have control and we start to turn a little shorter. We get a little bit more safe, so to speak, in the backswing. Therefore then our hips don't turn as much. Our shoulders don't turn as much. And then it sort of becomes quite a arms driven golf swing. It gets narrow. Well, I don't want that. I want you to, to the best of your ability, so no matter who you are, it's to the best of your ability, just free yourself up. Let's get a little bit more hip turn, a little bit more shoulder turn, and a little bit higher, more width. So to do this, now, <laughs> you're not gonna hit a shot with this, but you're gonna place your head cover on. It's just for a bit of resistance, really. So my, my head cover is on there. And as you move to face on, you're gonna see me do this. I call it momentum because look at this. We're gonna start by just making some short moves back and through. And every so often, we're gonna get a little bit longer back, a little bit longer back, a little bit longer back until we get into this backswing. So it's almost like, and I describe it as momentum because if I had a big heavy weight here, I couldn't just take my heavy weight here and throw it above my head and work it forwards, back, forwards, back, forwards, back. And then on that, on that rep, I would stand there and really turn and lift it to the top. So it's the same thing here. Same thing here, back and forwards and all the way to the top. Now, the little trick that I, I told my student was, well, obviously you can't hit a shot with your head cover. That would be totally impractical and it wouldn't go anywhere. But what you can do is, is trick yourself. We could have a few waggles just above the ball like this before hitting it away. So I'm not addressing behind the ball here. I'm sort of waggling it ahead just here and then down and away. So a little bit like I'm gonna do this. So look how far that has just gone, 287 yards. And I know that's me, but even if that's gone from 230 to 235, 240, just with that one change, thinking about momentum to encourage you to not be as safe and insular. Actually, bizarrely, like I often find people become straighter doing this, using momentum of that hover, hover, back and go. There's tip one, let's get into tweak two. The next is lead leg extension. So essentially for a right-handed golfer, your left leg. So if you sort of have a bit of a buckle into this golf ball, we're not maximizing our distance, simple. What I want you to think about here is, and this is a common theme to, I guess, a bit like a volume button. The more you can do it, the further you're gonna get it and further you're gonna hit it, but you don't have to do it a lot. But there's a common theme with all long hitters that their left leg is extended before they hit the golf ball, okay? This is what all the long drivers are doing. This is because they're taking all the force out and using the ground in this direction, okay? So what I want you to just have a few practice swings is, is feeling as though as you get to impact, your left side is as long as possible. And this really gives me a sensation of letting that club then fling past me. So if you look at my practice swings, yes, they look quite exaggerated. I'm trying to make my left side as long as possible. And one word of caution with this, I'm not snapping it, I'm turning to feel as though my left side is as long as possible. I'm almost feeling like I'm sending my back left pocket behind me to do that. And yes, it looks exaggerated, but feel and real in golf are two different things. So you have to get that idea. So if we wanna add some more yards, we wanna feel like we're extending that left side up and out the ground before you hit the ball. And just 
have a play around with that idea. We don't have to be perfect in golf, but if we can eke out a few extra yards, absolute Brucey bonus. Right, final one. And if you're wondering where all these ideas and these topics come from, well, they come from you. We're answering all these questions here today. And if you wanna get involved, dead easy, subscribe, turn the bell, and just pop your comment or query down below. So the final thing is where our ball position is in relation to our armpit. So we always want to have a little bit of tilt in this driver setup, but I want you to imagine your ball position is just ahead of your armpit. And the reason for this is, this is our maximum radius of the swing after the club passes my armpit. Anything before, yes, it will still be wide, but we're gathering our speed up to that point. This is gonna allow us to hit up more, create a better hit, and something I want you just to go, oh right, it maybe was a little bit too far back. It's a little tweak, but I often find these little things make a huge difference. So put it all together now, let's have a look how far this one goes. So I've got my ball position, got my turn, left leg extension. These are all simple little tweaks and they make a huge difference. That was absolutely launched. And you know what? It's fading back to the middle of that fairway. And this is a tight fairway to hit. It was longer, two, nine, six. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget this is your only place to get free simple golf tips five times a week.